Alright, so this dude doesn't believe, or he, it's not that he doesn't believe that it's not me, but, uh, dude was kind of confused, ran into a fan, but, uh, yeah, it is, it's me, it's Chase, no, it's weird, but, uh, yes, yes, indeed, it's real, <laughs> but, yeah, bro, you're gonna go in, uh, today's video or whatever, so, uh, shout out to you, I'm gonna say CES or CES or whatever, but, uh, yeah, you know, shout out to you, CES, and, uh, Let's get back to the video, y'all. I'm about him like I'm chance to rap. Like, uh, we need to make a comparison. Oh shit, that's embarrassing. Uh, they said beware of the snakes in the grass, but I'd rather be wearing them. Uh, everyone knows if I say this fast. This shit ain't no narrative. Go against me and they play like this kid. We need to be on the fucking American. Uh, Yo, what's good y'all? Welcome back to another video and today's video, this one, not highly requested, but uh, I did a little vote on my community tab on my YouTube channel and a lot of you guys said yes. So uh, here we are, basically today I'm going to be showing you guys the best way to use Diablo or the more proper way to use Diablo. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and dive straight into it and uh, kind of a big reveal as well. Um, you guys see I don't have a Logia bar anymore, you know, but don't be sad. Uh, this new fruit that I've gotten, it it's actually insane. And like, I just, I love it so far. I'm not gonna lie, I've enjoyed using it. And it is Gura Gura no Mi. I love this fruit so much. You guys may think like, wow, really Gura? Like out of all choices, you know, like, I yeah, I really enjoy Gura. Like this fruit is really really fun like a lot of people from what i have heard and honestly have seen uh no one runs gura and black league and honestly gura is a great fruit i've honestly i haven't seen it as a really top tier fruit but to be honest if i just keep playing with it keep learning combos and stuff to be honest i think that this fruit can be up there with hie and you guys know how i feel about hie so that really says something but anyways that's not the focus of the video um we're gonna go ahead and just kind of dive straight into this. Diablo. So Diablo is a very, very powerful moveset, fighting style, transformation. Let's talk about the cons first. So the cons of this transformation. So the cons of this transformation is that the stamina drain isn't too crazy. Like you guys see, it's only ticking two. But when we use moves, so like let's say I'm in the middle of a combo, I use spectrum, that's already 40. You know, that doesn't add... Like, that doesn't do too much. Let's say I use Blitz. That was about, like, 60 or whatever. And so that's all right. And then let's say I use Demon Axe Drop. That was almost about 100. And then let's say I'm about to finish my combo. I use Sky Driller. Um, I basically wasted about 400 stamina within seconds of just doing a simple combo when compared to Black Leg. You know, just basic Black Leg. I do that. Coiler. And then... I finish it off with a anti mana kick course. I literally have almost full stamina just from the region. So it's like, uh, one of the uh, things that you need to look out for is the stamina drain on this. Because if you don't keep a close eye on it, it is going to backfire on you a lot. Another con is that this has very, very high cooldowns, to be honest. Like, let's say I use Demon Spectrum. You know, it's a very powerful move. It does a lot of damage. But this is a very, very long cooldown, especially for demon flash demon flash isn't even a very powerful move you can't really do anything off of it besides a demonic sky driller but really that had a um cooldown time as the same as spectrum and spectrum was a long time so it's just like uh, there are a lot of things that you need to be aware about but um let's talk about ways that i have seen people use it and it kind of makes me cringe <laughs> um so a lot of the times a lot of the community is kind of like a popular thing honestly i haven't seen too many diablo users uh to be honest as of like late but a lot of the times when you do run into a diablo user literally the start of the match you see they go into demon step like literally it is not how you do it and then they'll go ahead and activate hockey and they're gonna waste more stamina or they're gonna pretty much waste their hockey bar and waste all of their stamina and have zero stamina zero hockey and have to play passive and it's like why is like that's not really how you are supposed to use it there are multiple ways that you are able to use demon step you don't pop it at the beginning of the match because one demon step is mainly used as a second source of hockey
hockey if you let's say you know you're just kind of fighting and you reach about half hockey you're gonna go ahead and deactivate hockey and if you're smart about it and like you're very experienced you are going to go ahead and activate Diablo. you know do your basic combos whatever and then like you'll let hockey regen and you'll just kind of do whatever just kind of you know just play your play your play style and let's say like you get all the way back up to max hockey or whatever you know you deactivate Diablo, and you just it's like you have to have stamina control as well with Diablo. like that's one main thing that is kind of difficult but really Diablo though is mainly used as a second source of hockey not something that you just kind of pop straight away off the rip because one you're going to be playing cooldowns for like 20 minutes if you activate Diablo at first and then you start spamming all of the moves second you're going to run out of hockey because a lot of people try and get hockey for that extra damage you know but like that's not that's not how you're supposed to use it you're supposed to use it as a second source of hockey now you necessarily don't have to use it as a second source of hockey you may be asking how basically as a experienced black leg user uh most of the time i rarely use demon step i'm gonna be honest i do use demon step but honestly it depends on the type of situation um it's hard to kind of explain as i have a lot of experience with black leg and diablo like literally these are the only fighting sides that i have ever used besides mink but that was like i use mink for like a day or whatever but like i i know a lot about like it's kind of like secondhand nature to me like i know when to pop diablo i know when not to it's just from the from the experience that i have had i just know when to and when not to um a lot of the times i don't use diablo like i said i don't use diablo that much but mainly i use diablo sometimes at the second stock so like let's say i get someone down like last stock i'll go ahead and pop diablo get a quick combo off whatever you know and that's it that's literally all i use it for and i do try and utilize it for a lot of the other things like the axe drop is a very very powerful move don't get me wrong but it is kind of it's easily avoidable and you can easily perfect block the axe drop or whatever you know and so that's why i try and kind of i don't use it i might try and use uh the demon blitz more because the demon blitz is pretty it's a pretty solid move even if you get perfect block you still continue to cast out the move and that kind of catches people off guard and if you are very like good at aiming your uh blitz or whatever you can honestly combo them up and utilize the full nine hits or whatever that does like i think 15 and so like nine times 15 you're basically getting a, like an easy 130 damage off from that so it's like a easy 130 damage just for casting like a little move even if it's punishable you still kind of punish them back so it's like yeah I'm, I'm gonna use it and a lot of the problems that i see with demon sub users is that a lot of the demon sub users are very kind of aggressive and like they don't they're not patient at like whatsoever like like trust me demon step is very very good if you do know how to use it so let's say uh i activate demon step a lot of the times if you have a fruit kind of like hiei or gura because gura to be honest you can combo with it you're just gonna have to take the time to figure out how to let's say like i do um demon step goro which is black leg goro is a very popular combination that you see in the gpo community or just in arena in general let's say i were to use diablo and what i would do is i would do my m1s i would gepo do lightning paralyzation get another m1 and then gepo again and then like do the air combo get spectrum and then i would do another m1 combo into flash and then end it with a sky drill like that's literally that's a free combo right there but a lot of the times what a lot of demon step users do is that they really just kind of run up they kind of just do whatever like oh my god like mm, I'm, I'm i have demon step i'm so like good like oh uh. i'm not saying this to like talk trash or talk down a lot of you guys or not a lot of you guys i'm not trying to talk down on people who kind of play like this i'm just trying to be constructive in a way so like i'm just trying to help you out like if you're losing a lot of your games this is probably one of the reasons why if you are a demon step user you need to be somewhat pretty passive with demon step to be honest because it's a more risk and reward type of moveset to be honest the only risk 
um like risk and reward a uh, move that you have is really demon axe drop uh demon axe drop has somewhat of a large startup time it does have hyper armor which is one good thing so you can catch a lot of people off so like let's say if um sometimes this will happen to me uh like sometimes like let's say i'm about to cast demon axe drop someone will m1 me and i'll still be in my animation if i just hold on to axe drop i am about like uh like one jump off of the ground like around here not a get jump but just like a regular jump i'll be that high off the ground and then I'll punish them with axe drop and I'm literally right close and they're not gonna have that much time to react to my axe drop and it's like it's a really good like it's really good damage too it's like 20 something hit and it's like eight damage same thing for spectrum spectrum is like six per hit or whatever so it's like it's honestly pretty good for like 20 or so hits like that's an easy like 100 damage combo right there but it is kind of like it is more risk and reward because it is somewhat difficult to land these combos you could say otherwise like obviously for me I'm not gonna say it's hard because I suck at the game, like truth be told. But um, a lot of the times, uh, you have to be very patient and just wait for an opening. And it it really does take a lot of skill because the timing on Spectrum is really annoying. Like literally, I will just be like doing my regular combo, and then like Spectrum. Sometimes like Spectrum is like very weird. It like it works when it wants to, and it works when it doesn't, and it works all of the time. Like the move works. Like there's nothing bugged with it. But it's like sometimes. Um, um, the player's ragdoll is different every single time and so whenever you do like a spectrum like let's say you do a combo and then you do a spectrum you'll go ahead and you'll do uh like you'll do spectrum sometimes the person's body will drop like greatly and you have to end your combo early and you can't get the full potential out of spectrum sometimes you have them in like the middle of it and they really don't drop down and so you have to kind of be skillful with landing your m1s because let's say you fully utilize your spectrum right uh you're gonna drop down and you're you're gonna have to keep you're gonna have to m1 and jump at the same time which is difficult and tricky especially as a black leg user because of your short range but obviously for sword users it isn't that difficult because you have like an insane hitbox but it's like that that's really kind of a tricky thing but overall demon step is mainly is mainly should be used as a more second source of hockey more than something that you use off rip because a lot of the times that is what demon step users are kind of known as is like whenever like literally it's the start of the match and they're barely getting out of like their passive bubble or whatever they're literally just gonna activate diablo and it's like oh it's a diablo user or whatever and then like you have zero hockey you have zero stamina at, at for what cost you got one like you got a couple m1 damage with like a, a simple combo or whatever you know so it's like it, it's not really gonna add up in the long run because literally fights can change within a combo like that's literally how it works like that's that's one thing that i like about gpo is that it's not gpo is heavily skill based but the problem is is that there are a lot of not i'm not gonna say unbalanced things but there are a lot of things that are way better than black league and it's just kind of unfair because like i had it was funny i was playing someone today and they were saying that i was doing 32 damage and it was unfair and i was all like bro you're doing like 95 per light kick and you're complaining about me doing 32 per m1 that's literally normal for a black league user especially me i am a pure black league user if you're complaining about me doing 32 per m1 go fight a one source style user who's doing 50 per m1 and then we'll see who's really complaining it's just like i don't really see the like i don't know i'm not gonna rant on because i want to try and keep this video short but uh yeah so hopefully you guys found this helpful if you have any questions feel free to comment them down below and i will answer to the best of my ability um let me know if you guys want to see either like gura pvp tomorrow or whatever you know but um i'm gonna be i'm probably gonna do either a pvp tips video or i am most likely going to do just like a regular arena pvp video you know but uh yeah let me know what you guys would like to see you know if you guys want to see arena and gura in action or if you would like to see a pvp uh like tips video for beginner players so if you guys enjoy watching my videos you know and you're not subscribed you know feel free subscribing and if the like button isn't blue you know make sure to turn that thumbs up to blue you know it really mean a lot to me it is free subscribing and liking is free and you can always change your mind later i mainly upload gpo content if you guys have any suggestions leave them in the comments down below and uh yeah it's been chasing you guys i'm out